Well, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to share something quick that I discovered. I just downloaded the latest version of Pro Tools first, uh, which is the free version of Pro Tools. And it is, um, let me show you, it is version 2020.9. 20, so just downloaded about two and a half gigs of it. So it's all good. Loaded up a project and to see what different it is from the last one, which was 2019.6, so about 15, 16 months difference. And of course, uh, you do get the save button. It does save locally, as well as the tree on the, in the cloud. Um, if we try that, let's say create new, as you can see, you can still create into the cloud up to three projects. One thing to note, and one of my YouTube viewers mentioned that make sure that you don't have three projects already in the cloud because you won't be able to create any more. So that is by, let's say this is my project, um, just make sure that it's not ticked back up to the cloud. There's no tick option, it's just there on your local drive. Then you'll be able to create um, more projects and make sure you don't also click the backup to cloud button. So, while I was uh, researching and finding and trying to find out what's different, what's happening, what the differences are, I discovered something. And let me see if you're gonna guess. Now we know Pro Tools has, uh, as to the documentation, only three, 23 plugins, native plugins, and no third-party plugins uh, outside the marketplace of Avid will run, which is, um, I guess, fair enough. They're giving away the software for free. If you want to expand the 23 built-in uh, plugins, which include EQ, compression, reverb, and etc., have a look at them. Other than that, if you want to have anything different, then you need to buy them from the marketplace. But here's what I just discovered. I just loaded this, and now... I have Neutron Elements running within Pro Tools first. I'm not sure how or why. I haven't done anything different. I haven't cheated the system or anything, but it loads my Neutron Elements right in there. As you can see, I have multiple on each of my buses. And to, on top of that, I have Ozone Elements loaded as well. So as you can see, if I go into, let's say, one of my uh, channels and have an insert, plugins, EQ, have neutron elements, and ozone 9. Dynamics, neutron elements, ozone 9. So neutron elements for some harmonic. So I don't know, sound field, ozone 9. Uh, of course, the only other one is I have Expand 2 and Melodyne 4 for some reason as an instrument. I'm not sure what is actually happening, but if you have found out that there are other plugins, AAX plugins, which are loading in Pro Tools first, make sure you comment the detail in the comment section so that other people trying to use Pro Tools first will discover them as well. Now, one thing I also have to mention, I installed Pro Tools first on my Mac, which is running High Sierra. So it's an old Mac, updated to High Sierra 10.13.6, I believe. So um, I installed Pro Tools first. I also installed Neutron Elements. It didn't show up. I installed Ozone 9. It did not show up. But here on my Windows laptop, you can clearly see how they are loading. And let me uh, play for you. I'll be fine. 
Okay, anyway, that's it. I just want to let you know that for some reason, those two plugins are working on my Pro Tools first. I haven't tested any other plugin. And if you have, and you have discovered other plugins that is working in Pro Tools first, let us know in the comments and share that information as well. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.